Hi everyone, it's me, Karen. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is a very short introduction to today's video. I am going to feature my husband um, doing some squats. But more importantly, I wanted to address um, abs after baby. I've only recently started, like two months ago, started really engaging my abs. I'm learning there are lots of things I did not expect postpartum and the inability to engage my abs as much as I wanted to um, was really shocking. There's just certain things I just didn't know because I'm a first time mom. I want to believe that I have a little bit of diastasis recti ab separation going on. Um, the other day I was trying, I was doing crunches and just kind of randomly put my hand here and then I noticed I felt like a little sinking <laughs> in my abdominal area. So I was like, oh, I think uh, something is going on. So there are tons of videos on YouTube to show you how to self-assess. Um, you can also get medical um, advice. I plan on doing that just to make sure. But yes, my um, I can feel just a little bit of separation right here, but nothing major. I hope it's nothing major. And I kind of realized that maybe the way I've been exercising might have been doing more harm than good in the long run. Um, because I'll, I'll be very honest, I was not very consistent with wearing my, my belt. I only did so primarily when I squatted heavy weights or, you know, just push, pushing the heavy weights in general. But I, I need to be very consistent with wearing a belt. So... Diastasis recti is not just a condition that affects um, pregnant women. I mean, men can get this, older people can get this. It is just separation of the abdominal muscle muscles. Because, you know, we're, in, in the case of pregnancy, you're making room for a growing baby. So, after a C-section, it has been like really hard or challenging, I should say, for me to fully engage my core the way that I wanted to. But, um, the reason why I'm bringing this up, someone actually asked if I am doing any core workouts, why am I not doing any weighted workouts and things like that. I'm really just taking my time. I'm trying to be very careful because if there is separation, I'm sure there is a little bit. And I do a bunch of weighted crunches and so on. The muscles here will want to kink. They'll want to do this and bulge. And that gives you the appearance that you're still pregnant. And... I'm not going for that. It's something I'm trying to correct and address, but it's taking me great effort. I'm being very honest. Um, I also know diet has a lot to do with just shredding down and um, looking toned. But as far as, you know, my muscle tone and my, my core, my midsection, I do have to put the work in to bring that back together. So when I'm working out, you'll see that I use my belt like all the time. Um, that also helps with keeping my spine stable so I can lift heavier and it also prevents my abs from bulging forward, consequently adding to the issue, adding to that illusion that you're still pregnant. So that is why I wear a belt. I hear people complain, well not complain, but they kind of try to diss people who wear belts. A belt, the, the, the belt was made for a reason. It's to help with stability, providing stability and so and that is why I wear a belt. I'm not in the gym trying to look cute or be like the strongest person or whatever. I'm just trying to work out properly and not um, add to the issues that I'm already facing being a C-section mom. So um, the other thing too, and you'll see this in my footage and my husband's footage as well. We also protect our knees. We wear knee sleeves. Um, they provide stability. Without my knee sleeves, I cannot lift very, very heavy and... I know I'm saying very heavy and that's very relative, but I cannot lift as heavy as I should if I do not wear my sleeves. And again, that is just to protect my knees. So, I mean, do what you got to do to make your lifts more productive. If you have to wear sleeves, wear your sleeves. If you got to wear a belt, wear your belt. If you got to wear gloves, wear gloves. No one should be there judging you for what you decide to do to make your gym sessions successful. So with that said, um, <laughs> I am definitely doing a giveaway right now. So let me switch hands a little bit. I'm going to send you 
uh, either one of these um, belts, a black or a red. The red one is a lot smaller, so you'll just let me know if you are the winner. Um, so black, one more time, and red. And this, these were sent by the Squat Sponge Company. I used the same belt, um, just a different color. Um, to be honest, I have multiple belts, but I also use their belts. And I'll send you grips as well for um, to grab the bar, like a barbell. And I'm also going to throw in a neck towel from the Squat Sponge Company. All of this is from the Squat Sponge Company. So all you got to do is leave a comment below. Tell me what you enjoyed most in this video. Um, tell me, just leave me a comment, any comment. I might not be able to reply, but I'll definitely go ahead and enter your name into the giveaway and then choose um, go via random.org or whatever random picker and choose my winner. So this is gonna, the winner is gonna be announced in the next five days from the date that this video is posted. Um, leave me a comment about my workouts with my husband and I will enter you. And if you do not want to be entered, let me know. That's okay as well. So one person will get one of these bells in addition to the neck towel and the grip. It's a pair of the um for the barbell. And if you want to enter for someone, like you know, you have a lady and you're trying to encourage her to get to the gym, this is a good place to start. <laughs> but until next time, um, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. But I wanted to touch base on that. I'll probably talk to you guys a little bit more. As I learn a little bit more about what's going on, there are certain exercises you can do. And I think I'll leave that for another video as well. So peace and bye. Burn me out, love just brings me down Go inside like when she leaves I slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to So we can learn again The skin is getting brown, baby Drink tonight away, maybe We will not regret it, you will not regret it, me Laying down under the sun Burning love cause we are young No one tells us what's done wrong Cause it's just me and you